Welcome everyone to the 2014 annual meeting part one. Would you please stand for prayer? God dwells in you. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, ruler of all things in heaven and earth, hear our prayers for this parish family. Strengthen the faithful, arouse the careless, and restore the penitent. Grant us all things necessary for our common life and bring us all to be of one heart and mind within your holy church through Jesus Christ, our Savior, almighty and ever-living God, source of all wisdom and understanding. Be present with us who take counsel for the renewal and mission of your church. Teach us in all things to seek first your honor and glory. Guide us to perceive what is right and grant us both the courage to pursue it and the grace to accomplish it. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Thank you. you. May be seated. Call us to order. We have a lot of business, so we'll move with dispatch. It is my great privilege to bring before you our junior warden, Nancy Necker. Will you warmly welcome her to this podium? Uh, good morning. Good morning. Uh, it is my uh, honor to say a few words about our retiring vestry members. And it is my pleasure to start with our youth vestry member, A.J. Smith. Uh, who is a senior at Loyola High School, and I'm not sure if AJ's here. AJ? Okay. Um, AJ is an acolyte captain and completed the Seekers program. He is a member of the L youth leadership team, and he participates in the Wednesday night youth program. He eagerly teamed up this weekend with his fellow youth for the 30-hour famine, and I suspect that's why he's not here. He fasted all weekend. Um, that's a program to build awareness about world hunger and raise funds to end it. Um, AJ has not been a reluctant um, to bring a strong and youthful voice to the vestry. Thank you, AJ, for expressing so thoughtfully the youth perspective in our vestry meetings. Um, and we wish you well on your next journey at Loyola Marymount University. Thank you, AJ. And I want to do a shout out to AJ's mom who sent in the homemade um, pies for our vestry meetings. Thank you. Virginia Classic, can you raise your hand and just let everybody do good. Virginia served as the chair of the Peace and Justice Vestry Committee for two and a half years. She was one of the founders of the Rapid Response Team and is a driving force behind the Sunday Action Table. During the transitional period between Peace and Justice directors in 2009 and 2010, um, Virginia volunteered a significant portion of her personal life to keep the entire Peace and Justice function going at All Saints. Virginia served on the Gun Violence Task Force and has continued to be an important resource to that ministry. She sponsored the newest vestry um, resolution regarding gun violence. Virginia also taught at the Faith into, Faith into Action Civic Engagement Workshop Series and lobbied Mayor Bogard to join Mayors Against Illegal Guns. While Virginia is passionate about gun control, she also tirelessly works towards elimination of torture and Virginia serves on the board of the National Religious Campaign Against Torture. Beyond All Saints, Virginia is a board member of the Progressive Christians Uniting and is president of the San Fernando Valley chapter of the Brady Campaign. Virginia continually works to ground the vestry in our theological rationale for everything we do, which brought the vestry back to our core essential value, to embody the inclusive love of God through community, spirituality, and peace and justice. Thank you for that, Virginia. <laughs> Erica Tamlin is not here. Erica is the current chair of the Peace and Justice Vestry Committee. Erica is a member of the Rapid Response Team that determines the action table agenda for Sunday mornings. She serves as a member of the Transformational Journeys Leadership Committee and has led several transformational journeys, um, one including to Manzanar and an inspiring trip to China in the spring of 2013. Erica has also served as a member of the Buildings and Grounds Committee and organized Angels with Tool Belts, which is a resource list of parishioners who possess specific building and ground skills. Erica and her spouse Marilyn were longtime chairs of the Alternative Christmas Market. On the vestry, Erica is always calm and level-headed 
and most importantly, a lot of fun to work with. Erica, your optimism and your phenomenal organizational skills will be greatly missed on the vestry. Thank you. Dave Moreno, can you raise your hand and thank, there he is. Dave is a longtime member of the Latino Ministries. He is currently working with Keith Holman to build the online presence of the 1 p.m. Spanish language service. Dave also is a greeter for the 1 p.m. service and he served on the search committee that brought us Francisco Garcia as our new director of peace and justice. Dave and his wife have also helped um, All Saints in building community by hosting several congregational dinners. Dave, your passionate leadership around our Latino ministries and the social issues surrounding our Hispanic brothers and sisters and your thoughtful insights on these concerns were a tremendous asset to the vestry. Thank you, Dave. <laughs> Leslie Thomas, there you are. Leslie served as our chair of the stewardship campaign for the last two years. In addition to willingly shouldering this leadership responsibility, Leslie has been a tireless stewardship volunteer at all levels, even clearing tables for many of our stewardship events. And you cannot, who can forget his moving Sunday morning stewardship witness? Leslie currently serves on the search committee for the new director of giving, and Leslie is a member of the Coventry Choir. Leslie, your broad smile and your infectious good nature will be in our collective vestry spirit for a very long time. You exemplify the spirit of generosity, and you taught us that it is a pleasure and an honor to give of our worldly resources to All Saints Church. Thank you. <laughs> Bob Wilson. Bob is our retiring senior warden. Bob co-founded the Legal Egg Ministry at All Saints and has organized the free legal clinics staffed by lawyers from All Saints and lawyers from the community. Bob is now taking the legal clinics off campus and to the people. Somehow Bob has also found time to serve as chair of the new members classes, as well as serve as a member of the Vestry Stewardship Committee and the Vestry Finance Committee. Bob is full of great stories. And Bob loves to share those delightful <laughs> stories. <laughs> and most importantly, Bob loves All Saints Church. Bob's faith is deeply rooted here, and he has been tirelessly dedicated to keeping All Saints a place of healing and of spiritual growth for us all. For all you've done, Bob, we salute you and we thank you for your leadership. And now it is my pleasure to introduce Bob Wilson, your senior warden, for nominations for new vestry members. Good morning. So we had a nominating committee composed of all of the retiring vestry members uh, that were just mentioned <coughs> and some other people. And it's not easy coming up with new vestry members. We have a lot of criteria. And in the end, I think we have a terrific a group of candidates for uh, that are going to come onto the vestry should you vote them in today. And they are, Karen, just raise your hand when I call your name, Karen Alexander. <laughs> Liza Billington is eligibly renominated and she has been. I, I didn't see Liza today. Uh, Lily Cloud. <laughs> Our student member, Rafael Gonzalez, our youth member. Andy Malloy, Frank Ramirez, and Jeff Vanderpool. So should we call for the vote? So I need uh, someone to place these names in a nomination. Would someone do that? Thank you very much. We don't need a second for a nomination. Are there any questions or comments? I would simply add that these are the absolute God-chosen people. <laughs> and that the, uh, to underscore what Bob said, 
Um, that is such a prayerful, discerning process that goes on. We meet literally for hours and hours and hours and talk prayerfully and um, reverently about so many different people. And so that group is respectfully offering these folks. Uh, and also it is our uh, canonical practice and bylaw practice that uh, we advertise all of these people with photographs and uh, their bios in, all, in the Saints Alive and ask for any nominations to be sent in. And we received no uh, further nominations for them from the floor. So we're ready to vote. This is one of the rare times that the entire parish votes on anything in an Episcopal church. So take a deep breath and get ready to vote. All in favor, please say aye. aye. Opposed, no. It's unanimous. Thank you very much. Welcome. I woke up this morning absolutely glowing about these people about uh, to be uh, that who who were elected just now. The other uh, canonical responsibility you have, and all of us have at the annual meeting, is to elect the 2014 diocesan convention delegates. That diocesan convention will be taking place the first weekend in December, and uh, we gather together to do the business of the diocese. And again, we carefully, as vestry now. Um, gathered up these names and we propose them to you. Um, they are presented to you in alphabetical order. As is always the case, the closer we get to the actual date, then we sort through who actually will be there, who can't be there, what alternates can step into their place. But I um, would like for someone to place these delegates into names into nomination. Is there someone who'd do that? Thank you. Any questions or comments? All in favor, please say aye. aye. Opposed, no. Thank you very much. They are elected. <clears throat> um, we had an amazing year fiscally in 2013 and in many, many other ways as well. Kathy Kegg, our chair of finance committee, could not be here. She got called away for a family emergency in Sacramento. And our treasurer, Gail Crawford, is ably stepping in to her place. So... Uh, uh, Gail has never made a financial report to the vet, to the uh, parish. She's always making it to the vestry. So uh, give her a little encouragement by a warm applause as she comes to this podium. Good morning. Thank you for the opportunity to highlight Kathy Keg's written report and the year-end financial statements found in your handout. I want to kind of walk you through it, the handout. We're not going to go through details. You have Kathy Keg's letter where she's covering what happened in 2013, highlighting some of the highlights and, and giving you some information on how things are done. You have the balance sheet. Am I going too fast? You have the balance sheet on the next page which compares December 31st of 2013 to December 31st of 2012. And I want to draw your attention to the bottom under debt status, that first sentence that says, All Saints Church has no debt. <laughs> the next page is the financial report. This is the December 31st, 2013 comparing what we budgeted last, the budget we passed in early 2013 to actual numbers. <clears throat> the top portion is total support and the lower portion are, is our total mission. We're gonna come back to this page in a couple minutes. But I draw your attention to the column that says notes. Every line item has a description on the next two pages that tells you what makes up that number and what it represents. So this can be part of your afternoon reading. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. <clears throat> the following page shows just some statistical or comparisons, operating, fudge, operating fund pledge history, and grants. The grants we issue or pay to outside agencies. The final page is the endowment fund summary, showing you what endowment funds we have and where they're invested. <clears throat> to quote Kathy, hallelujah, All Saints Church ended the fiscal year 2013 
in the black for the 19th year in a row. Now we're back on the financial statement page, the operating statement where we had the support at the top and the mission at the bottom. The support from givers of record, plate offerings, and special offerings were on target to the budget estimates. Those are those top three lines, and you'll see the variances almost zero each other out. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm on page five. The top three lines over on the right-hand column show you the differences or the variance from what we budgeted and what actually came in. And those three numbers zero each, practically zero each other out. So we were right on target to what we'd estimated. We had more income from film shoots. That's the 45,000 number just below those top three. <clears throat> then anticipated and saved in personnel, the top line on your, your support, I mean, excuse me, your mission segment, due to two open staff positions for almost half the year. With that said, we ended the year with 223,000 that will be used in the 2014 budget. That's a carryover from what we used in 2013, so we're going to use it in 2014, and a modest 95,000 to add to cash reserves. We're attempting to get enough cash reserves to have one month's payroll in a reserve account. <clears throat> the budget process at All Saints is a very thoughtful and careful process. Every year, Parish Administrator, Administrator Christina Honchel looks at prior year expenses and anticipates increases for the new year, which include increases in health insurance, property liability insurance, utilities, providing a living wage for employees, and a cost of living increase for all staff. The next step is to look at revenue. Over 80% of income comes from givers of record, which are people who pledge, people who give regularly but don't pledge, and those who give special gifts. Much analysis is done to estimate late payments, new pledges, and delinquency. The support, this support is increased by Easter and Christmas collections, film shoots, parking lot receipts, and endowment income. After much analysis, the Finance Committee has already done this twice. Vestry did it once at their meeting this month, and they'll do it again next month, probably. After much analysis, the Finance Committee proposes an operating budget to the Vestry for approval. This process is underway at this time and will be on the agenda for the, uh, the annual meeting, part two, in March. And I'd like to end by closing, by quoting Kathy again. Grace and abundance continue to bless us all, and we continue our journey. On behalf of the Finance Committee and the Vestry, thank you. Thank you for your generosity. Thank you for your faith. Thank you for your commitment to making God's love tangible. And this is the best part of the report for me. If you have any questions about the written report, Christina Honchel and Kathy Kay <laughs> are available. Thank you. So let me underscore a couple of things right now, and then we hope that we'll have some uh, time for questions about this later on. Um, Gail appropriately said that this budget process that we are in now, moving to a 2014 operations budget, is underway. It's a very detailed, very carefully done process. And at our first working of it, and uh, Bob may uh, reiterate this, but I'll go ahead and reiterate it now. We're about $300,000 short of where we think God wants us to be in terms of our budget for next year. Um, in all of our work, both in the Finance Committee meeting and also the Vestry meeting, our members there have been really, really listening, and we've had two people to volunteer to come forward and increase their pledges, saying that I'm really not giving all that God, I think, is calling me to give or all that I could give. And so I want to lay that on the hearts and minds of everybody here and everybody who's streaming. If, perchance, you have received more income than you've pledged against, 
remembering that we ask for proportional giving, not just a number that you make up in your mind, but an actual percentage of your income. If you are not where you think God wants you to be, if you've received more income than when you pledged and you would like to keep your same percentage of giving, but it now computes out to more, please see one of us. We would love to receive your increased pledge because we are now going to go to about 250 people and ask them specifically to increase and you can save us some time and work by simply coming forward and saying, I love the mission of All Saints Church and I wanna make sure that the lights are on and everybody gets paid and I want to be a part of this solution. So please come forward. Now, uh, before I introduce uh, the senior warden and ask him to come back, I want to tell you about these amazingly hardworking and, to my mind, totally incandescently beautiful people who are arrayed here before you. And I'll start down closer to that wall. That entire section in those four rows are my staff colleagues. I can tell you right now with a sworn affidavit that these people are the hardest working people in church business. They are brilliant. <clears throat> they are brilliant, they are creative, they are innovative, they have an allergy to con church as a conventional operation. They are totally committed to church as a movement more than an institution. They embrace the mission of this place, and they could all run this place without me. In order for me to hire somebody, you have to be smarter than I am. And to a person in, up there, each one of them is absolutely much, much smarter than I am. So let me ask you to thank them one more time. And now I want to say something about the bank of these people. These are your representatives. And the Episcopal Church is very different from, say, in the Presbyterian Church or the Baptist Church, where you uh, have to make decisions by the church as a whole. We are a much more representative body. And so these are the folks who do all the voting and the hiring of the rector. And um, they vote on the budget. Uh, you elect them, and they then do the work. We have an... 90 minute to a two hour meeting once a month. And uh, those meetings are very efficient and I think inspiring because all of these people are doing the real, pardon me, grunt work outside the vestry meeting. And we don't turn the vestry meeting into a committee of the whole. These are really hardworking people. And what's really important for me to say at this point is how faithful and prayerful they are. They're, every person here, you could go and talk with them and you would have church just because you had a conversation with them. They're great informal spiritual directors, they're great pastors, and they're great church leaders. And I am deeply, deeply grateful to the faith and brilliance represented on these three rows. Would you please join me in thanking them? <laughs> Speaking of faith and hard work and brilliance, it is my great pleasure. Uh, I will say much more about him in my state of the church address in a month when we have our second part of the annual meeting. But please now warmly welcome our senior warden, Bob Wilson. So let me see if I can get this little video thing back to where it was. Uh, in a minute. There we go. So. Uh, I want to thank Ed for asking me to be the senior warden. Little did I know I'd be going to a million meetings a week. But uh, it's been, for me, um, it's been an absolute joy and, a, and a quite a journey of faith to be the senior warden. 
So a lot happens at All Saints every year, and I'm going to talk about the staff also. Um, but a couple things first. Um, this year, we had a total revision of stewardship. All of you know that we had the dinners. Instead of going to the rectory, we saved $25,000 by not having those events at the rectory that somebody had to come up with. And we reached more people than we ever did with every event at the rectory. And, and I want you to think about what that did to staff. In literally one meeting of stewardship committee when Sherilyn was here, we came up with this idea and we changed the whole thing. And it was really quite a lot of a strain on Sherilyn, which is probably why she's not here anymore. Uh, <laughs> uh, in terms of the budget, we, um, we, we had an idea that we wanted to have a more transparent and a unified budget. If you recall, we used to have pew cards in the racks at budget time about aspirations and for various things. And we just felt that it was easy for people to sit in a pew and say, you know what, here's the budget over here, here's aspirations over here, and somebody with a lot of money can write a check for those. Not, and not, it has nothing to do with the budget. We're not doing that anymore. What we have done now is put a whole budget together, and that's the $300,000 that I talked about, and I'll talk about a little bit more of that in a minute. We're also close to getting the final approval on our buildings, thank to Liz and, and Bob Long. And we're, well, we were fully staffed with uh, Janine and, and John Depaus coming on board, but, um, and I, I really want to give uh, a special, I can't do this, <laughs> um, shout out to Kathy Keg. I mean Kathy Clement. When Sherilyn left, we needed somebody to come in there and, and the stewardship was kind of in a doldrum state and Kathy came in there and she literally, um, she's the spark that lit the fire in our hearts to go raise this money that we did and thank you so much. So as senior warden, I really got to see how the sausage is made at All Saints Church. And what a group of sausage makers we have. <laughs> and I, like I said before, I want to focus on our fantastic staff. And I want to give a, a special shout out to the custodial staff, many of whom I know by name. <laughs> yeah. And just one little quick example of how great they are. When Keith got here today for this meeting, all the chairs were turned the other way. And it was all set up to be from that podium. He contacts the staff, and I've, done, I've had to do this. All of you who run meetings here, something's a problem. They don't get a look on their face like, oh, crap, now what do I have to do? <laughs> they smile, and they do it, and they get it done, and obvious by what you see here. So I want to thank Keith for this little... Uh, uh, video thing we're going to show here, or a slideshow, I guess, would be more appropriate. And uh, just keep in mind all the work that goes into everything you're, every event you're going to see here. Just keep in mind all the work that goes into it, not just from the custodial, but every member of our staff. So this is homecoming. Oh, sorry, I should go back to the dunk tank, shouldn't I? Um, although we didn't see the the, re the uh, rector in there, did we? This is all events on the lawn with Juliana. Everybody knows Zelda, <laughs> Janine. <laughs> Blessing of the animals, a couple of cute animals there. I didn't mean the dogs either. Uh, every, <laughs> every, all, every Sunday on the lawn with uh, tables and stuff. Uh, One billion rising and there's Keith put that in so he could get his picture in here. Um, uh, luncheons we have in, in, the, in Sweetland Hall, the homeless memorial dinner, 
these are the legal clinics, and I have to say it, it's been pretty successful. Um, and now the Pasadena Bar Association is partnering with us. So the last, um, yeah, the last clinic, the last clinic, they brought 15 lawyers here. So that's why we're going to go on the road because we can serve a lot more people going on the road. Um, this is confirmation, the annual homeless holiday party, alternative Christmas market where you should be buying all your Christmas gifts, foster care art show, CYF choir registration, worship, choirs. <laughs> <laughs> Zelda, Desmond Tutu, Lessons and Carols, Christmas Time, uh, there's Cooper Thornton, this is the Christmas, and there's, um, I'll give you a little better picture of baby Jesus in a minute, I think we're going to get there. And there's baby Jesus with his proud godparents. <laughs> Gun violence. Parish camp. The kid and youth spring concert, which was fantastic. And Jenny Say did a great, does a great job. I don't know why we have a picture of the overflow, but it's interesting. <laughs> to say services. Jazz Vespers, which are incredible. Contemplative services. Homeless food ministry, which is, we feed about 100, we feed 150 people every Monday at this church. Confirmation again. The Immigration Vigil at City Hall. Dia de los Muertos. Healing Services. Homeless Memorial Service. John Depp House. <laughs> Guadalupe Service. Baptisms, which are always great. Uh, there's Keith and video streaming. Community activities. Isn't this where we're, uh, somewhere we're throwing uh, tortillas at the rector? Um, <laughs> let me go back uh, just one screen. Um, the Celebrando Nuestra Cultura. Um, this is the gun buyback. Let <laughs> me just go back there a minute. Um, well, I'm not going to do that. The gun buyback, um, there were a lot of people that set that up. But there was one person from this church who did all the work, took care of all the dignitaries, and there were a lot of them that wanted to show their face. There are all these politicians. Uh, but um, uh, Juliana Serrano just did a great job. So just a word about the budget. When we started December 1 last year, we needed $990,000. We have never needed that much money to make budget, ever. And we have never raised that much money in December. Um, and who makes that happen? The rector makes it happen. He calls all the people that uh, love to experience the joy of generosity when he calls them. <laughs> the stewardship committee and every member of the vestry makes telephone calls. And um, in the final analysis, though, with all that said, with all the work done by all these people, it is all you. We raised $983,000 in December. Give yourselves a hand. <laughs> Finally, I want to talk about generosity. The theme of this year's Vestry Staff Conference is growing generosity. And, I, and in terms of the budget, it's all inclusive. There are no aspirations. It's one budget. It's all of us. And it needs all of us to support the movement that we have come to know as All Saints Church. And I want you to think about how you feel when you give loved ones a gift at a birthday, at Christmas, uh, at a bar mitzvah, a bat mitzvah, um, when I give my four granddaughters gifts. 
Think about how that makes you feel and think about how your heart feels when you do that. That's how we want you to think about this family and how much you love this family. Right now, as Ed said, the budget is $300,000 short. We're going to raise it. And this budget doesn't include things that people want. We're not increasing people's expense accounts. We're not doing any of that. This budget includes only those items which staff, vestry, uh, believe are absolutely necessary to support our movement towards our mission of inclusive love of God in Christ through spirituality, community, and peace and justice. Look into your hearts. Find the joy of generosity and feel the spirit of giving in 2014. Thank you. Outstanding. We've got time for one question. <laughs> and at our second part of the annual meeting, we'll make time for more. But let's see if there's a burning question. Looks like we covered everything at this point. This is the biggest turnout we've ever had for an annual meeting, part one. I want to thank you. Thank you, everybody. Uh, congratulations, new vestry members. Thank you for one of the best senior warden addresses we've ever had. We stand adjourned. <laughs>